Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can streamline our testing efforts by automatically creating all the test cases just by recording your screen. And you can then use your application and all the APIs and all the pages that you visit, all of the test cases will be prepared and then you can run them later on. So first of all, what you have to do is you have to create your account on Grafana. So I will go to Grafana. It is very important and necessary for this. So you can go to Grafana and just click on create free account and you can create your account. In my case, I have already created an account. And so I will click on my account and yeah, I'm logged in. So that is good. I can click on Grafana launch. So my Grafana instance is loading. It will take like 10, 15 seconds. Then it is initiated. And meanwhile, I will uh, tell you what is the second most essential thing that you need. Then what you need is you need an extension of K6 that records your screen and uh, create test cases for you. So this is uh, the extension. You see K6 Grafana lab. You can just like search for it, K6, Grafana Lab uh, Chrome extension. And this is the extension that you need. I will provide the link uh, of that as well. And you can like click on add to Chrome and it will be added to your Chrome. And yeah, once you have uh, this extension installed and you have uh, your Grafana account, then what's the next step? right so yeah let's go on to that so now i will go to the website that i want to test so in my case this is the website uh this is something that i have built myself so i want to test it so before testing what you need to do is you need to click on the extension button and this is my grafana account it is telling me that this is your grafana account that is linked with your extension so it is fine with me keep all these options checked and click on start recording button and yeah it is recording now okay so what you have to do now is you just click on login button and now the extension is recording all the api calls everything so now i will uh, act as a user i came here i will just like click on different buttons okay so and then i will click on different options i will perform like a different users journey like when user come how user will use the platform so i will just check it okay these options are working these options are not working what's this drop down and um okay i will just like go to different options explore different uh things in the platform and then like when you think like okay like you have uh, done all the things that you want to do on the platform and you just want to end so i'm just like checking different things edit okay this thing is also working click on update and yeah so in the end i click on log out so now i want to stop my recording i will click on stop and automatically all the things that i have done it is recorded and all the api calls that are made during that uh recorded session all uh using all those apis the test case is created so now i will give this test case a name so this is the website i will give it a name like uh screen record okay this is the test case name and default project uh, and then I go to uh, do I want to include third party domains I would say okay and then uh, I added uh, this domain like this domain is basically the API uh, backend API that I am calling so I also I want to include this because otherwise like you can also include other th third party domains like if your application is connected to let's say Sentry so you can also include that in the drop down and you can in the test case you can also make calls to Sentry and you can test that that we are receiving data in Sentry or no either like there are other like monitoring and like 
different tools attached to your platform you can uh, also choose that like in that case it will make request to those third party apis as well so you can also test that but i don't want to include that then uh, the test cases are very uh, chaos so that's why i don't want them and then uh, this option correlate request and response keep that checked and include static assets uh, i don't want to check it because the static assets are like a lot like uh, fetching images css all those uh, data so i don't want to make call to those uh, static assets so i will just keep it unchecked and then generate sleep like uh, this is like it will add sleep uh, in between the api request so that the requests are not made like one after another in very quick uh, succession like it will add a little pause and then you can click on save it will create the script automatically and you can see that this is the script you can uh, copy paste that you can like uh, basically do whatever you want okay i will just copy it in case i want to i can take this i can copy it and then i can uh, go to my like uh, editor paste this and then like i can start like requesting that for instance i like uh, as you can see in the script as well like this is the particular url so it is going to this particular url it is going making a login api call you can also see the email and password so then after this this is the header that needs to be sent and then uh, it is taking the because when we log in we get the token from the response so it is storing token in a variable then in the next calls uh, it is sending that token variable and then uh, making api call to dashboard api uh, in this on this dashboard page it is making api calls to company get all sending the token variable as well because it is needed it is making api call to get daughter companies and like all the different routes and you can also see like on what particular page this api call is being made so you can also get to know about that because on one page all the apis call that are made they are grouped uh, in one like a particular group so all of those api calls will be made uh, in like parallel so and then in between you will have sleep and then page number three and on that page we're making api calls so if i click on run test so it will again run this test case and will show us the results i can even open up my editor and i can like uh, save a file for instance i go to this like load testing um, project and i create a new file you know i just click uh, click on create a new file and this like screen test.js this is just a dummy name i click on that i paste this and then i can even run this script from my laptop as well so if i do clean clear k6 run and this is the file name to run from local machine you can do k6 run screen test.js just enter and then you see like all that test case that we have uh, created using screen recording we are running that from our local machine as well cloud is not needed like one person can actually record screen and create different uh test cases and then share the code with other guys as well in the team they can also run those test cases like uh, it is not necessary that you run these test cases on cloud you can run them locally as well and see the results like on what particular like pages and apis you are getting errors and what is uh, the expected output so let me open the browser and see so yeah this is the test case that we actually run on uh, grafana that it is showing me that 4.8 4800 requests are made 50 of them are failure and peak uh, request per second is like maximum like it is like 38 requests are sent per second and p95 mean that 95 percentage of response time is coming in 200 millisecond that is good like response is uh, coming very fast and you can see below like different api calls are being made like uh, login and then like fetching company details and all that you can see the errors this is the error and then you have different like you can also view the script 
here you can see the logs uh, we don't have any logs uh, that's why we can, uh, this section is empty but if you have like console log you can see here and then uh, checks and threshold is also empty so this http section is only valid in our case but if you click on any api you can see the details as well of that particular api because each api call is being made again and again so you can see like the pattern of it like um, uh, the request response time the re uh, you can see like what's the response time request time what's the failure rate all that so let's open the and then uh, right now this test case is executing right now it is running so it, it is not stopped so we have like 10 virtual users and uh, there are 10 virtual users are making requests to that particular script again and again so that's why you see like a lot of requests so i just recorded that session and i'm using that application and now all these virtual users and test cases automatically created and the virtual users are testing the system and putting a lot of load on that and checking like what are the endpoints that actually fails so let me open the yeah on my local as well you can see like the test case is running and uh it is actually a five minute test case and you can see like on local as well like it is making requests and like uh, executing all these test cases so i will stop the video now and i will uh, continue again when the test case is completed so now the test case is finished so it is creating the report for it it will take like few seconds now so and on the browser as well you can see the test case is executed like we have uh, the status is changed to finished and 8500 requests are made and like 38 requests are sent every second and the average response time is 2007 it is not average it is p95 mean that 95 percent of the requests are taking 200 millisecond so and then you can see the details below you can click on every api and see the chart of that api because every api call is made again and again so you can see the chart of it so if you go to yeah on the local as well you can see the the response you know uh, like the data received is 19 mb data sent is 657 kb and uh the group duration like we have like different groups and it is telling you about like request duration like how much time is spent in request duration how much uh http requests are failed and how much are actually passed and it is telling me that request failed are 67 uh, and request pass is obviously this one and then uh you can see other like uh request sending how much time is spent in request sending it is very less like 246 it is a uh, microsecond so it is very less and then uh, you can see virtual users it is like three virtual users and then maximum 10 virtual users iteration is 67 so all the virtual users they are making the same api call 67 times but in sequence like and then if i go up it is telling showing me all uh, the different groups so i have this group like page one is this page page two page three it is showing me all the pages as well like on which we made the api calls and uh yeah so this is uh, pretty much it and on the cloud it is more visual you can see more details uh the past like uh all of these like uh it is showing me like different uh, test cases and scenarios like high load generator cpu uses like uh, on high load how it is acting uh, on different like uh, test cases how it is performing so it is a very easy way like this is pretty much it about this video and i will paste all the links like of grafana and the extension below and if you want to learn more about like testing you can see my other videos as well i have created videos on how to test your backend i have explained different test cases like smoke test stress test soak testing 
I have explained all the different test cases and what are the purpose of all those uh, test case and I have also created video on front end test case and how you can uh, test your front end application using Chromium and with K6 the browser is open and uh, you can create scenarios there as well and this video uh, is for like automatic test case generation so I hope you guys like the video so have a nice day bye bye